Hi there! In this tutorial I will teach you how to make this crochet trinity box with a lid around a cardboard box. Here you can store all your crochet items or the small items that are always lying around. It is an easy pattern, so easy to follow and replicate. If you like this tutorial then give me a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed yet and you would like to, do so by pressing the red subscribe button and the bell button next to it. Let's start! For the Trinity box, I used four skeins of Ice Yarn Saver in the color Dark Camel. It's a 100% acrylic, 200 grams and 330 meters. The recommended hook is a 5mm crochet hook, but I'm going to use a 6mm J10 hook. Of course, you can use any number 4 yarn you like. You also need a cardboard box. My box is 30 by 30 by 30 centimeters or 12 inches. You also need a piece of cardboard with the same size as the bottom of the cardboard box to make the lid. We start the box with the bottom. My bottom is 30 by 30 centimeters or about 12 by 12 inches. So we start by making a chain for the width of your box. So if your box is 30 centimeters like me, then make a chain of 30 centimeters or 12 inches. If your box is 40 centimeters or 25 centimeters, then make a chain for that length. So we start with a slip knot on our hook and then chain 30 centimeters or the width you need to cover the bottom of your box. I make a small piece here, but make this the width of your box. And then you chain two extra, one, two, yarn over, and in the third chain from the hook, so the loop on your hook doesn't count as a stitch, The loop on your hook doesn't count as a stitch. And then this is the first, the second, and in the third chain from the hook, we make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert in the third stitch, third chain, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert in the next chain, and make a half double crochet. So pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And make a half double crochet in every stitch across. And when you are at the end, then I'll meet you back. So first row of half double crochets is done. The whole bottom is made out of half double crochet. To continue, we start row 2 and row 2 is the repeat row for the whole bottom. So we repeat row 2 until the bottom is the size of the bottom of your cardboard box. So chain 2, turn your work. This chain 2 counts as your first half double crochet. So we skip the first chain or the first stitch. And in the next stitch and every stitch across, we make a half double crochet. Half double crochet in the next. And in every stitch till the end. Like this. And if you are at the end of the row, then chain two, turn your work and work your way back. So keep working rows of half double crochets until your work is the size of the bottom of your box and then I'll meet you back. Okay, the bottom of my box is done. I have 30 by 30 centimeters or about 12 by 12 inches and this is the size of my bottom. So it is time to start the sides. And for the sides, we work the trinity stitch. You don't bind off, so you 
have your yarn still attached, put in your hook, chain one. And then in the first stitch, we make a single crochet. So the first stitch gets a single crochet. So you insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So this is a single crochet. And the next three stitches, so the same stitch and the next two stitches, gets a single crochet three together. So and therefore insert in the same stitch as where you just made your single crochet. Insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook, leave those two loops on your hook and insert in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, leave those three loops on your hook and insert in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And then chain one like this. Make sure you make your stitches loose, otherwise in the next row you have trouble inserting your hook. So make sure you work loose. And then we make another single crochet three together and we start in the same stitch as where you end your last single crochet three together. So in the same stitch insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. Chain one. And make your stitches loose. So that's your repeat for the whole row. So insert in the same stitch as where you end your single crochet three together. So insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop, in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, and chain one. So insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop, in the next stitch, pull up a loop. In the next stitch, pull up a loop. So four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook and chain one. So insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop. Next stitch, pull up a loop. And in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one. So this is your repeat for the whole row. So insert in the same stitch, next stitch, next stitch, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one. Same stitch, next stitch, next stitch, four loops on your hook, all four, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one. So this is your repeat for the whole row. So Keep on working until you are, until you have two stitches left and then I'll meet you back. Okay, I am at the end of my uh, row. I have two stitches left. So I have a place for one more single crochet three together. So insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop. In the next stitch, pull up a loop. And in the last stitch, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. And now it is a little bit different than the rest of the row. Because after your last single crochet three together, we don't chain one. So don't chain one, but place a single crochet, a normal single crochet in the last stitch. So in the same stitch as where you end your single crochet three together. So don't chain one, but make a single crochet directly in the last stitch. Like this, to end your row. And then we start row two, and row two is the repeat row for the whole side. So we make four sides, this is one side, and we make a side at every corner or at every side of the bottom. So 
we repeat row two for the whole side. So chain one, turn your work. We start with a single crochet in the first stitch. Always start with a single crochet in the first stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Single crochet. And then we start our single crochets three together. So insert in the same stitch as where you made your single crochet. In the same stitch, pull up a loop, next stitch, pull up a loop, next stitch, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one. So insert in the same stitch, next stitch, next stitch, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one, same stitch, next stitch, next stitch, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one. And now you're glad that you you worked your stitch is loose because you can easily insert your hook. Next and next and chain one. So repeat making single crochet three together and a chain one until you have two stitches left and then I'll meet you back. I have two stitches left, so I make one more single crochet three together. So in the same, in the next, and in the last. And pull through all four loops on your hook. And now we don't chain one, so the last single crochet three together. After that, you don't chain one, but make a single crochet directly in the last stitch. So where you end your single crochet three together, there you put in a single crochet and don't make your chain one otherwise you uh, increase and you uh, end up with a wider <laughs> a wider part at the, at the top so don't make your chain one at the last after the last single crochet three together but make a single crochet directly in the last stitch so this is your repeat row so now we chain one turn the work and make a single crochet in the first stitch, then single crochet three together, starting in the first stitch, and then second and the third, chain one, single crochet three together, starting in the same stitch as where you end your last stitch. All the way to the end, and after the last single crochet three together, we don't chain one, but make a single crochet in the last stitch. So this is your repeat for the whole side, for one side of the four sides. Work your side up until the height is the same height as your cardboard box. My height is 30 centimeters or about 12 inches. So I work up 29 rows and that is exactly 30 centimeters or about 12 inches for me. Maybe you work a bit tighter or looser, so you need more or less rows, but just measure it and then you know for sure how many rows you need to work up so work this side and I'll meet you back at the end of side one okay my side is done my first side like I mentioned I made uh, 29 rows to cover up my side if you need more then make more rows. If you need less, then make less rows. If your box is higher or lower than mine, or you have, or you need more rows to cover up the side, then do so. So you can do this exactly the same on the other side. So straight across. So you have side one here, then here is your bottom, and then you can make I already started my side here on this side so you have one long strip with a side a bottom and a side all in one and then you if you did that then you can bind off weave in and then we have two sides 
of the bottom left. So you have your, I hope you can see this, this aisle rows of half double crochets. So we make, we've made a side on top and we've made a side at the bottom, but we need also two sides at the sides of the bottom because we need four sides on our box. But on this side, we don't have stitches, but we have rows. And we have not enough rows to make exactly the same amount of stitches. So we can't uh, make one stitch in every row, but then we, we have two little stitches. So you need to make 35 stitches along the sides. So that's the same as you have here and here. So 35. So therefore you get your yarn. That's my beginning. Here it is. And make a slip knot on your hook. Or you make a slip knot. Then insert your hook in the first stitch. Here is my side that I need to finish. But here is my first stitch. Try to insert under two loops of the, si of the side near the beginning of the row, the bottom row. Then grab your loop and pull through and chain one to secure. Okay, now you attach your yarn and now we start making uh, 35 stitches in total. So insert in the same stitch and make a single crochet. So this is your first stitch. And then we are starting our single crochet three together and the chains one, chain one. So a single crochet three together is one stitch and the chain one is also one stitch. So that counts as two stitches. So insert in the same stitches where you chained, uh, where you make your single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then jump a couple of a little bit to the left and pick up two stitches yarn over pull up a loop three loops on your hook and then insert in the next pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three four loops on your hook chain one so now we have three stitches and we have three stitches in two rows of half double crochets. So that's how I count it. So you make one single crochet three together in two rows. Let's do that again. So you start in the same stitch, pull up a loop. Then in the next row, of half double crochets, pull up a loop, and in the next row of half double crochets, insert your hook and pull up a loop. So we have four loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, and chain one, like this. Then insert in the same stitch, pull up a loop, go to the next row, insert, pull up a loop and to the next row insert and pull up a loop four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all four loops on your hook chain one insert in the same next next four loops on your hook and chain one like this and repeat this all the way across and then you have to see where you end your bottom and where your side begins because you need to stop at the end of your bottom of course and not work another stitch in the side because when we assemble the piece then we get in trouble so for me it is 35 stitches along the side if you have a wider side then you need more stitches of course but try to keep in mind that this amount of stitches needs to be the same as the other two sides so the top and the bottom 
and then you should be fine. That is when you have a square box. If your cardboard box is a rectangle, then your side is longer than the side. Then you need to make more stitches on the side. Just eyeball where you place your stitches so you have the right amount. If your side is wider than the length of your bottom, uh, then make sure your stitches don't pull, so they are too tight or you get a rippling, a rippling side. So they need to be flat and straight and then you are good to go. So it is just eyeballing where to place your stitches and if you have a square box then you need to have exactly the same amount of stitches on this side than on the other two sides. When you worked all your sides, so you have four sides attached to your bottom, then your work should look like this. And now we are assembling the box. So you can cut your yarn and bind off and leave a tail for about 40 to 50 centimeters or 20 inches to sew the sides. So you decide what will be your inside and what will be your outside. So make sure you have your outside facing to, to you. So the outside of the box is facing you and then place the sides on each other like this. So this is one side and this is the other side right next to it. And then you just whip stitch to close this side. If you think it is difficult to make sure your work is nice and flat, then you can put in some stitch markers. So one side, attach that to the side next to it. So insert in this side and insert through the side on the other side like this and then insert to this side and to the side on the other side and pull through and pull tight then through this side and through the side on the other side So through both layers and try to get two loops in each layer so your seam is nice. So two here, two here, and then pull tight. So repeat this until this corner side is closed. And then do the same on the other three corners. So you have your box. So keep working until you are at the end. And then I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm almost at the end of my first side. So I make a couple of more stitches, a couple more, and then bind off. And then most of the time I have a loop and then Insert your yarn needle through the loop and pull tight. Through the loop again. Pull tight and through the loop, pull tight. Now you made a secure knot and then you can weave in your end. I work it through your work a couple of times back and forth 
and then you can cut your yarn and this side is done and then you see here is your bottom and the side is nice and closed so then we go to the next side and repeat the same steps so make whip stitches all the way to the end and then bind up weaving your ends until you closed all sides and then I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to make the lid okay when you closed all the sides so you have a big basket and you can turn your work right side out and put in your cardboard box so the bottom is almost done and it should look like this then we make the lid and the lid is the same size as the bottom of your cardboard box so my piece of cardboard has some fabric around but if you just pick a piece of cardboard that is the size of the bottom of your box then you should be fine we make a chain for the width of your piece of cardboard and you need to be sure it is an even number so make a slip knot on your hook and chain in my case I chain 36 34 35 36 so this is the width of my cardboard and now we start making the trinity stitch again so in the second loop from the hook so the loop on your hook doesn't count as a stitch so this is the first loop and in the second loop we make a single crochet so make a single crochet like this and then we start our single crochet tree together so in the same stitch insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop and then insert in the next pull up a loop and in the next pull up a loop just like you did for the sides but now we work directly in the chain then yarn over pull through all four loops on your hook chain one so same loop same chain next chain next chain four loops on your hook pull through all four loops on your hook chain one repeat this all the way to the end and in the last three make your single crochet three together in the last three stitches and then don't chain one but make a single crochet directly in the last chain so in your last after your last single crochet three together we don't chain one but make a single crochet directly in the last chain and then chain one turn your work and work your way back just like you did for the sides and work as many rows as you need to cover your whole piece of cardboard for me that is 30 rows so keep working until your work is the size you need and then i'll meet you back to show you how to make the sides of the lid the top of my lid is done it covers the piece of cardboard so it's time to make the sides of the lid therefore we make rounds of half double crochet around the side so chain two turn your work and work a row of half double crochets all the way to the end and then work the same amount of half double crochets along this side and then work the same amount of half double crochets along each side until you are at the beginning again so this chain two counts as your first half double crochet so we can skip this first stitch so yarn over insert in the next stitch half double crochet yarn over insert in the next stitch half double crochet yarn over 
So to the next stitch, half double crochet. So repeat this all the way to the end of the first side. And then I'll show you how to work your way through the other three sides. I'm at the end of my first side and now yarn over, turn your work and then we work 35 stitches, 35 half double crochet on this side as well. If your box is bigger than mine then work the same amount of stitches that you worked for the side of your cardboard box. For that side, that particular side. So for me it is a square so I can make 35 stitches on every side. So we ended with the last half double crochet on this side so now we make half double crochets on the other side and just eyeball where to place your stitches So you have 35 on this side as well, or the amount you need to cover up this side. And by working straight around the corner, you get a side for your lid. So try to pick up two loops where you insert your hook. So this is just one, pick another one. Two loops so your stitches are nice and secure and then work your way to the other side if you have 35 stitches or, or the amount of stitches you need to cover up this side then work 35 on this side so in the corners you don't do anything different just keep on working in the round and I'll meet you back when you are at the beginning of your half double crochet round again. I finished my round of half double crochet and now it is just making rounds of half double crochets just until you have a side of five centimeter or two inches or or the height you prefer. So we don't close our rounds. I don't close my rounds. You can choose to close your rounds and then start with a chain two and move on but I'm going to keep working in the rounds until my work is the size I want and for me that is five centimeters or about two inches so yarn over and go straight into the first stitch of round one and make a half double crochet then go to the next stitch half double crochet To the next stitch, half double crochet, and then every stitch around. Mark your stitch, your first stitch with a stitch marker so you know this is your stitch uh, where you end your rounds. So keep on working in the rounds, and if you reached the height you want, then I show you how to bind off, and then your box is done. The side of my lid is done. I made seven rounds of half double crochet. And now it's time to bind off. To bind off, you have your last half double crochet to end your round. And then in the next stitch, you make a single crochet like this. And in the next stitch, you make a slip stitch like this. And then you can cut your yarn and bind off, weave in this end, and your lid is done. Turn the inside of your lid towards you and then you can put in your cardboard like this and then your lid is nice and sturdy. You can glue the piece of cardboard to your fabric to make it extra sturdy, extra secure and then Place your lid on top of your box and your box is all done. I use the box to store my whips, but you can use the box for whatever you like. 
If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you have a question or an idea for next tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you.